Larry is out to find that dream buck. Will he find it? There he is, Larry. There he is. Oh my God, Barry, that's a big deer. And then I realized we have crawled into this buck's bedroom. Come on and stand up, buck. My heart's beating so fast. That's my dream buck right there. Winchester's World of Whitetail is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend, Thompson Center, America's master gun maker, Nikon, the trusted name in optics, She Outdoor Apparel, her adventure starts here, Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter, Dallas Safari Club, promoting conservation, education, and ethical hunting worldwide, Ghost Blind, not seeing is believing. And by Ram Outdoorsman. There are a lot of places to go in this big wide world and the new Ram Outdoorsman can get you to every one of them. Wise Hoon and guide Barry Hendricks set out to scout the giant bucks of Oak Creek. But enormous antlers are just part of the scenery as Mr. Whitetail enjoys the falling leaves and the fall weather far from Texas. Although that is a great buck, Barry knows that there are plenty more out there that are even better. I like that one there pretty good. I know I'm in Whitetail Heaven, so I'm going to trust you. And now you got me interested. That's a 200 class deer. Oh, yeah. When it comes to hunting whitetail deer, you know, everybody's got some favorite places. But I started hunting on a place called Oak Creek Ranch. Almost 2,000 acres of rolling hills, fields, and hardwoods, family-owned Oak Creek Ranch sits in the heart of Missouri and consistently produces top records book whitetail. I dearly love this part of Missouri, this being kind of a, a central part of Missouri where you've got rolling hills, big oak ridges, dense cedar thickets, you've got little creek bottoms. I love the fact that there are some really big, massive antlered bucks here. I mean, the kind of bucks that, that I dream about. And the people here on Oak Creek are just the, the finest that you can find anywhere. And you can tell it from the time that you walk in. They just make you feel at home. And then, of course, you get down to the guides, and, and the guides are so personal. It, it's like hunting with a good, dear friend. And, and that's really kind of the way it's become with Barry Hendricks and I. Not only do we have a good time while we're hunting, it, it's a learning experience for me as well. To spend time with a guy like that and then to be in the lodge with, with the other hunters that are here, it's a great, great hunting experience. Good to go? I think we're good to go. All right, let's head out and see what we can come up with. Well, we got an ammo gun, shooting got sticks. Got ammo gun, shooting stick. We got Got everything else I think I need. That'll work. Got a camera. I tell you what, Barry, I love South Texas and that old brush country, but there's nothing to me that compares to being out here this time of year with these leaves changing. Big old bucks getting 
ready to be chasing does, but there's something special about these old trees out in through here. You sit there and you hear an old deer walking on those leaves, you know, and you get all excited because you know he's <laughs> going to come in from somewhere. Oh my God. That is a good buck right there. Yeah. I mean, he's tucked up in there. He is. I mean, what you can see is really just from here on up. This browse must be, what, eight, nine inches long? Yeah. Like that side, he's got a, like a kicker that comes off. Yeah, he's, he's got a kicker that's forked over there, and he's got a kicker on his left side. I thought I'd seen some absolutely monster bucks last year. Coming here this year, it looked like the deer are even that much better. There you go. Right there you go, that one. He is absolutely monster here. Body last too. The deer's well over 200. Oh, yeah. Boy, he's got a big old neck. Every buck that I saw, I wanted to shoot. I let Barry talk me out of it simply because he kept saying, well, he's a good deer, but you know, he doesn't have this, you know, or he doesn't have that. There you go, there you go. Boy, that is a pretty deer. Oh, man. Out of this world. You talk about white tail heaven. Let's go. Let's go, let's get out of here before I change my mind. I don't even want to look at him again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and you're watching the Winchester World of Whitetail with one of my favorite rednecks, Larry Wysoon. I'm telling you, Larry, you know, I know that deer better. I'm kind of glad you didn't get a shot at that deer. Well, let's go look for that other one. Winchester's World of Whitetail is brought to you by Buck Bomb, blows away traditional sense, Ghost Blind, not seeing is believing. Silver Zyme, the ultimate hybrid technology scent elimination spray. Backed by science, doubted by no one. And by Otis, from the front lines to the hunt of a lifetime. For serious whitetail fanatic Larry Wiseun, Missouri's Oak Creek Ranch is like a field of flowers for a bee. Except that Larry's having his wings tied down by guide Barry Hendricks. Hendricks and Wyzoon are stalking to a place where they hope to set up and catch the champion buck Hendricks knows is on the hoof. Almost the en entire time of my hunt, we were in hunting in rain, walking in rain, but it made it ideal because, you know, I love to slip hunt as I said Barry does too, kind of a spot and stalk and, and still hunt combination. and. That's right, just enough though. It's gonna give us a little cushion in here to go. With it not wet, you couldn't walk on this stuff right now. You'd okay. scare every deer out of the country. It'd just be like walking on cornflakes. With those dry leaves gone, being wet, we could move around. A little bit of wind, take advantage of the wind, take advantage of the, that wet ground, and we could really kind of slip around like we wanted to. It made it ideal conditions for that kind of hunting. One of the things you want to do when you do slip hunt or still hunt is to spend as much time looking behind you as you do in front of you because so very often a really big old mature buck will lay right there and let you walk right by him until you get about 10, 15 steps away. Then all of a sudden when you're past him, he may pick his old head up to look around to see where you are. So just take your time. You may not cover a whole lot of country, but you'll probably see a lot more deer than what you think you will. Barry knows of a good location where he's seen some big bucks in the past. Yeah, he's got good threes, too. 
That's a good buck. That's a good buck, is right. Yeah. He looked at us, but I think he may, well, he's walking. He may be on a trail with that young I was going to say, he acts like he's got something else on his mind. That's a nice, big, mature deer. That was a yeah, big old body deer. He is a big body deer. When I first saw him, he was just standing there looking straight at us. And, Boy, you never get tired of looking at them things, do you? No. Hmm? No, I mean, I've seen so lots of deer in my lifetime, and I never, ever go tired of them. we got to go back to our other spot we went last year, too. Try that out. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely want to go back spot. there. That's a good spot. I agree. Let's go do that. One of the beauties of central Missouri is the abundance of natural browse and mast. But even with that, deer can still need supplemental feed, as Mr. Whitetail explains. Where Oak Creek Ranch is located, kind of the central part of Missouri, they're very fortunate here in the fact that you've got great soils that produce almost any kind of vegetation if you get any moisture. You've got browse species such as American Beautyberry, Honeysuckle, variety of little weeds and forbs, natural clovers. You've also got an abundance of oak trees in this area. So you've got a tremendous amount of browse. Nutritionally wise, that is extremely good during the early fall, late summer, springtime, and even during the summertime. But the winter time is that time frame when most of the browse is gone, most of the acorns are gone. So deer are pretty much at a time when when they're nutritionally stressed a little bit. The proper utilization of a supplementation type of, of feed, be it a pelleted feed or maybe even blanched soybeans, is the fact that you can fill that void. So natural browse situation, absolutely perfect, but there's always a flaw in it, and that's generally either the late summertime or the late winter time for spring green up. And if you can do any kind of supplementation, that's the time that you really want to do it. To learn more of Wyzoon's management tips, log on to Versus.com. You know, we've gone through two and a half days of hunting. We've hunted in the rain. It's been hard hunting. We've seen a lot of good deer. We've been having a great time. Tried a little bit of rattling. You know, had a buck look at us, but not really come to us. Gets down to be that, that third morning, and we're going to an area that we're going to still hunt. And, we never get there because we spot this buck. Got a long brow. Very good brow times. Main frame eight. He's probably got a 180 inch eight point frame on him. I'm going, oh my God, you know, what a deer. That's, that's a dream buck. He's a big eight point, which was another thing he threw up. He knows I like big eights, you know, and I started looking at heavy, long time, massive, wide, drop time, big eight, we watch him and he goes up into this little ridge. What he's probably gonna do is go down and get bedded up in that highland. That's where he's been hanging out at. Eased into this area, and one foot at a time, stopping glass and looking and looking and looking. And then all of a sudden, there he is like And the first thing I see is this drop tide because I knew just the moment that I could get a shot at this deer, I was gonna take him. Winchester's World of Whitetail is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend, Thompson Center, America's master gun maker, Nikon, the trusted name in optics, She Outdoor Apparel, her adventure starts here, Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter, Dallas Safari Club, promoting conservation, education, and ethical hunting worldwide, Buck Bomb, blows away traditional scents. And by Ram Outdoorsman. There are a lot of places to go in this big wide world and the new Ram Outdoorsman can get you to every one of them. After torturing Larry Wisehoon by exposing him to more huge white tail than a hunter has a right to see in a single lifetime, is Oak Creek guide Barry Hendricks about to lead him to the biggest buck Wisehoon has ever seen? Barry and I decided to try to go back out to the woods 
stop the vehicle a long way from where we thought we needed to because we really wanted to kind of still hunt our way down the road into the little bottom area where we'd seen this buck. We ease in there, sit down for just a little while, you know, and I mean, a little while turns into an hour and, and nothing shows up. So finally Barry kind of leans over and he goes, uh, you know, what, what say we try to still hunt our way in there? I think his deer's just better right up in this draw a little bit, so let's just slip up there on this hill, kind of glass around, see what you see. The, the leaves are so wet. I mean, you can go without making almost any kind of sounds at all. We had the wind in our favor, blowing right in our face. We dropped down this little creek bottom, across the creek, constantly glassing, looking, crossed another little creek, eased into this area, and I mean, still hunted to where it was one foot at a time, stopping glass, one foot at a time, stopping glass. We're easing along and looking and looking and looking. I mean, you're seeing all kinds of things, and then all of a sudden, First thing I see is this drop tide. I set up my shooting sticks, knowing that I won't be able to get a shot at this buck any minute. And then I realize we have crawled into this buck's bedroom. He's bedded down by that tall black tree. Try to get yourself set up, see if you can even see him from here. All I could see of him was really a part of the neck, his head, and then these absolutely monstrous, massive, antlers, all the reasons that he had told me earlier to pass up bucks for, we found in, in this particular deer. Man, that thing is unbelievable mass. That's my dream buck right there. A, 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 a dream buck, he's got everything. And I can't get a shot at him because he is laying there. Just wait for him to get out there, he's going to get out. Because I knew just the moment that I could get a shot at this deer, if he stood up, I was going to take him. My heart's beating so fast, I start talking to myself, don't look at his antlers, don't look at his antlers. You know, try to find a spot. If he gets up, he gets up. Well, it goes from five minutes that we're sitting there to seem like five or six different lifetimes. I am on my knees with my eyes glued on this deer, trying to pick out a spot through the brush, just in case he did stand up. Finally, this buck gets up. When the buck gets up, I'm on the sticks. I immediately flip off for safety. We've got the crosshair centered as best as I can. Hit him again, hit him again. He goes over the top of this little hill and immediately Barry says, let's get after him. We don't want to lose him. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go up over that ridge. We walk maybe about 50, 60 steps over this ridge look down at this little grassy area down there close to the creek. Right there, come on. Right there, yeah. He's down. He's down. He's down. Right there, come on. Oh my God. Look at that. Holy cow. And here lays this buck. He's laying there like this. I mean, unbelievably wide, massive. I nearly lost it. Check that out, would you now? Barry, that thing is huge. I don't know what to say. I, mean, I honestly don't. I am never at a loss of words for almost anything. Look at the drop here. He's got a drop, drop over here. here. He's actually even got another little drop right here that's coming right off the main beam. This, look how bladed this thing is on it. This is huge, this is huge, this is huge, but look at this. I mean, you talk about absolutely the deer of a lifetime, the deer of my dream. Thank you again, man. Thank, I'll thank tell you, you what, you and I had such a great time. Oak Creek is, is just absolute white tail heaven. This is as close to heaven on earth as there is. If you like white tail, and I do. That, that is a super deer. Is a deer. Good job, man. Good job. That is the dream deer for any hunter and the buck of a lifetime for Mr. Whitetail, as the tale of the tape will soon tell him. Okay. Right main beam length.
26 and 5 eighths. 8 and 3 eighths. 6 and 1. 27 and 7 eighths. 5 and 7 eighths of an inch. 7 and 4 eighths. Let's see what we got here. There's the magic number right there. I come up with 224 and 4 eighths. Well, congratulations, Shaker. The biggest, the widest, the most massive. <laughs> that is a Fuck super I've ever deer. I love all these long brows and mass and drop tines. I mean, it's a dream deer. It is an absolute dream deer. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I did too. Look can't forward wait. to next year. I can't wait to next year, Mary. Thank you.